Just six nights until the Unforgiven event in Chicago. In your main event this evening, the Celtic Warrior Sheamus battles one half of the world tag team champions, the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest. What a matchup that's going to be later tonight. We are live from the Wells Fargo Center, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Just six nights away before our trip to the Allstate Arena in Chicago for the Raw exclusive Unforgiven event. But we kick things off tonight in Philadelphia with the Empress of Tomorrow. Asuka is in action. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Osaka, Japan. Asuka! And coming up this Sunday at Unforgiven, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, with a one-on-one -on -one meeting against the man, Becky Lynch. This is an issue that has been brewing damn near all year long. Becky Lynch challenged Asuka all the way back in WrestleMania for the WWE Women's Championship, a matchup that Becky Lynch would go on to lose, and that is a loss that has sat with the man all year long. It is simply a situation of Becky Lynch not being able to move forward with her career until she proves she is better than the Empress of Tomorrow. It's not about championships on Sunday, it is about simply the bragging rights, getting your hand raised, and taking the next step in the women's division. And for Asuka and Becky Lynch, it could easily be a matchup that propels them towards number one contendership to the WWE Women's title. Cannot wait for that collision this Sunday, but tonight Asuka's got a meeting with an old rival and a woman who defeated her earlier this year for her women's championship, that being Liv Morgan. And from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan. We talked about how Asuka was the WWE Women's Champion coming out of WrestleMania earlier this year. Well, she held the gold all the way to May at the Vengeance Premium Live event where she took on Liv Morgan. And what a match it was. One of the best women's matches we have seen all year long a few months back. And it was Liv Morgan who on that night dethroned the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Unfortunately, Liv Morgan's championship reign did not go as planned, taking out one but two losses to the woman who currently holds the gold, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Nonetheless, we are here, we are live. Philadelphia is jam-packed inside the Wells Fargo Center, six nights away before our trip to the Windy City at Unforgiven. It's gonna be a busy weekend here in the WWE. Of course, Saturday afternoon, 3 p.m. Eastern time, we will be live to kick off the quarterfinals of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. That is taking place at the Hammerstein Ballroom, Manhattan, New York. Just two hours later, Saturday night, 5 p.m. Eastern time from the CFG Bank Arena in Baltimore. It is the Friday Night Smackdown live premiere event of No Mercy. And then as we mentioned, coming up this Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern time, another live premiere. We are heading to the Allstate Arena in Chicago for Unforgiven. Cannot wait to get to this weekend. It's gonna be a busy one. It's gonna be a fun one, a ton of action. You are not gonna wanna miss. As with Morgan, we're gonna pick up some steam here in this opening bout tonight on Raw. You know, for Liv Morgan, this could really be a matchup that could propel her back into the championship picture here in the WWE. She dethroned Asuka back at Vengeance in May, but unfortunately lost the title at King of the Ring in June. And Liv Morgan going to the extreme in a city that knows it best. Into the sky, down to the ground, and the big time Superfly splash to the outside on the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. What an awesome move by Liv Morgan. As we were about to mention, this is a matchup that could propel Liv back into the number one contendership for a championship currently held by SmackDown's Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, who will defend her title this Saturday night at No Mercy against the number one contender, Candice LeRae. Cannot wait to see that match on Saturday night at the SmackDown exclusive live event. 
But as for Monday Night Raw, it is going to be Sunday. It's going to be Unforgiven. It's going to be Asuka versus Becky Lynch taking center stage. But who is going to get their hand raised high? And who's going to get their hand raised high tonight in Philadelphia? Is it going to be Liv Morgan going two for two against the Empress of Tomorrow this year? Or is Asuka coming, for no pun intended, but some vengeance? All remains to be seen. It's going to be a busy night of action here tonight at the Wells Fargo Center. Coming up in your main event, the number one contender for the WWE title, the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, meets one half of the World Tag Team Champions representing the Judgment Day and the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest. Of course, this Sunday at Unforgiven, Priest, as well as Finn Balor, will defend the tag team titles against the other two members of Brawling Brutes in Butch and Ridge Holland. And then Sheamus has got the opportunity of a lifetime seeking payback on Seth freaking Rollins, but also seeking a reign as the WWE Champion. Meanwhile, Liv Morgan might have just caught Asuka slipping in your opening bout. The double knees, but not enough to get the three count. Awesome comeback there by Liv Morgan. Asuka was starting to pick up some steam. There's one thing we know about Liv Morgan. Constantly feels like she's in that underdog position, and I think she's comfortable there. She likes fighting the uphill battle. It's done her well in the past. Liv Morgan likes fighting from underneath. But Asuka right now trying to make an example out of a woman who has defeated her in the past, hoping Becky Lynch has got her eyes locked on this matchup tonight. Asuka and Becky with a lot of history. Most importantly, that co-main event that happened on WrestleMania Sunday earlier this year, a loss that really sent Becky Lynch into a downward, downward spiral, excuse me. And it's really just throughout the summer that Becky is starting to get her feet under her again. Becky not ready to take that next step until she can defeat Asuka. If she can only defeat Oscar, remains to be seen. But meanwhile, hip attack by the Empress of Tomorrow. And that's going to do it. Liv Morgan, good night. Thanks for coming. Not just yet. Spoke too soon. Liv Morgan survives. Never count out Liv Morgan, especially in a city that is known for its extreme attributes. Liv Morgan not afraid to dig down deep. Fight like the underdog. Have her rocky story, if you will, and go to the extreme if necessary. She's got to get her wits about her. She's got to get the eggs unscrambled. As Asuka continuing the onslaught. I said it before, we'll say it again. Asuka's looking to make an example out of Liv Morgan here tonight. She hopes Becky Lynch is watching this match. She's trying to creep fear into the mind of the man. Remind Becky Lynch what happened at WrestleMania when she tapped her out in the middle of Raymond James Stadium in Tampa Bay, Florida. Liv Morgan, nice takedown a moment ago. I'm trying to keep the momentum going. Irish whip off the ropes. There's a leapfrog. Going for the hip toss. Asuka counters up into a neck breaker. Beautiful counter by the Empress of Tomorrow. And now look at this. Scale on the ropes and a missile drop kick heard around the world. Liv Morgan had nowhere to go. Had, couldn't even keep up with Asuka. She was scaling the ropes back and forth and then launched like a lawn dart into the mind of Liv Morgan. Oh, wait a minute, Asuka, Asuka going for the Asuka lock here, and Liv Morgan has felt this before. And Asuka's got her wrenched in tight. Example, hoping to be made by the Empress of Tomorrow, and Liv Morgan's got no choice but to tap out. It's a tricky situation in those submissions. You hold on too long, you risk an injury. Liv Morgan made the safe choice tonight and tapped out to a very motivated and dangerous Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. But will that be the result? on Sunday night in the Windy City when Asuka meets the man Becky Lynch once more with ultimate bragging rights certainly at stake. Here is your winner, Asuka! You cannot knock the dominance of one of the most dominant superstars in WWE history. It is Asuka versus Becky Lynch once more with bragging rights and so much more on the line this Sunday night in Chicago at Unforgiven. We are back live inside the Wells Fargo Center, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania on the final Monday Night Raw before this Sunday's live premiere event, Unforgiven. And for the first time since SummerSlam, the harbinger of doom, carrying Cross is emerging set to walk down the aisle and Madcap Moss drawing the unlucky straw tonight forced to go one-on-one -on -one 
with I'm sure a very dangerous and laser focused Karrion Cross. As we mentioned the last time we saw Karrion Cross in action was in the main event at SummerSlam. Fatal four-way matchup including Bobby Lashley, John Cena, and the former WWE Champion Matt Riddle. Karrion Cross tapping out in that matchup leading to Matt Riddle. I was about to say walking out as the WWE Champion, but we all know what happened moments after the bell. Seth Rollins cashing in his Money in the Bank briefcase to become the new WWE Champion. Matt Riddle's eye getting taken off the WWE Championship picture thanks to the beasting torn at Brock Lesnar. That's a whole nother situation, but nonetheless, after two failed attempts throughout the summer to win the WWE title, Karrion Cross has got to have a new picture in mind, something to focus on, and it all starts tonight. And Mad Cat Moss better come prepared, because I don't like the look in the eye of the Harbinger of Doom here in Philadelphia. That is a man who stood toe to toe with some of the best of them here on Monday Night Raw all year long. He owns victories over the Celtic warrior Sheamus, over the almighty Bobby Lashley not once but twice. He's even defeated the franchise John Cena in recent memory right here on Monday Night Raw. And now that Karrion Cross is back tonight, as we mentioned, you gotta believe he's got a whole new game plan in mind, set to refocus, get back in the win column. And I'm sure Karrion Cross wants to fight towards another opportunity at the WWE Championship. All remains to be seen. It all starts tonight. As we discuss all the time, it's about getting your hand raised from bell to bell. That's when the opportunities arise. Win, you move forward with your career. Loss, go back to the drawing board. So we'll see who's going to get the victory tonight. Madcap Moss has only had so many opportunities since joining Monday Night Raw earlier this year from NXT. Unfortunately, not able to make the most of those opportunities thus far, but tonight may be the night that he changes all that momentum. Coming hot out of the gate, knocking the Harbinger of Doom off his feet, but if there's one thing we know about Karrion Cross, it's a whole different story to keep him off his feet. Cross is motivated as all hell tonight. Big time Lariat, with some emphasis behind it. And I'm starting to unload on Madcap Moss. You know, moments ago we were discussing how Asuka and her matchup with Liv Morgan was directly trying to send a message to Becky Lynch, her opponent for this Sunday. A little bit of a different situation here. I think Karrion Cross is looking to send a message to the entire Monday Night Raw locker room that Karrion Cross is not to be messed with and that the Harbinger of Doom is going to be back in the limelight and is going to be back contesting for championship gold when he so pleases. But it all starts tonight, into the cover. Madcap Moss better get things going here. Only a one count there, but Karrion Cross with a fire underneath him of a night. Absolutely coming unglued. No collar and elbow tie-ups, no feel-out process, no test of strength tonight. Throwing haymakers and throwing them well. There's Mancap trying to get back into it, taking out the knee of Karrion Cross. Again, one thing to knock Cross off his feet, a whole other thing to keep him there, and that's what Mancap's got to keep in mind as this matchup progresses tonight in Philadelphia. I want to thank you for joining us on the final Monday Night Raw before Unforgiven this Sunday. And what is going to be an incredible week of live premieres here in the WWE. Saturday afternoon, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. It is the quarterfinals of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament in Manhattan, New York. And wait a minute, Karrion Cross into the cover. And that may do it here. Not just yet. Of course, Saturday, 5 p.m. It's going to be no mercy in Baltimore. Sunday at Unforgiven. And now Karrion Cross looking to show no mercy and have absolutely no remorse as the straight jacket is locked in and there's a tap. Nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. The Harbinger of Doom has creeped around the corner and is back. And absolutely hell bent on some kind of vengeance here on Monday Night Raw. Well, certainly a convincing victory to say the very least. And the Monday Night Raw locker room better take. Absolute notice of the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross. Karrion Cross. Karrion Cross, one of the most dominant superstars in recent memory. He's taken Raw by storm all year long. And if it's back to square one, so be it. Cross will work his way up the mountain. And that is one thing we know about the Harbinger of Doom. And the Monday Night Raw locker room just. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Brock Lesnar, Matt Riddle up on the stage. Once again, this has been week after week with these two men. 
Lesnar, the Beast Incarnate, Riddle, the original bro, they will meet this Sunday at Unforgiven inside a steel cage. And you are literally witnessing right now the reason that they are going to be stuck inside the confines of the steel. What is it, the third, fourth week in a row, whatever it's been, that these two men have absolutely ignited a Pier 6 brawl in the middle of our program. It's as simple as this. Brock Lesnar has taken issue with any man who has crossed him. He has made a list. He has checked it twice. He put Kevin Owens aside at SummerSlam. Now he's focusing on the man who defeated him back in May at Vengeance and took away his chance to become WWE Champion, that being the former champ, Matt Riddle. And Brock Lesnar don't give a damn who's in his way. He's ready to mow over everybody, including the original bro, on his chase back to the top of the mountain. You know, we say it each and every week, and at this point it's redundant, but it'd be nice to get some help out here, some referees, some staff, some security, maybe empty the whole goddamn locker room to get Lesnar and Riddle apart. But let's be realistic here. Nobody wants to get between the original bro, the former WWE champion, and on the other side, the damn alpha male of our species, Brock Lesnar. Riddle's doing all he can to survive this brawl, this, this ambush, whatever it is. Clearly, it started in the backstage area, as seemingly all these brawls do, and make their way out to Wells Fargo Center tonight. There's certainly a brawl on Broad Street as Riddle's trying to get back into this thing. Lesnar gets taken down. And absolutely nobody to stop him. This is why we have these two men locked inside the confines of a steel cage this Sunday night, live at Unforgiven to keep things inside of the ring, have a decisive winner, and hopefully put these issues to rest. Oh, Lesnar Riddle's getting dangerously close to that stage, and Brock Lesnar doesn't give a damn about the well-being of Matt Riddle as he gets tossed off the stage in an unpleasant landing for the original bro of the concrete. And Brock Lesnar is like a shark in the water who smells blood. He's got Riddle up for an emphatic F5. Matt Riddle is down, Matt Riddle is out, but these two men meet this Sunday inside the steel cage. We are live this Sunday night from the Allstate Arena in Chicago, Illinois. 5 p.m. Eastern time for the Roll Exclusive Unforgiven event. And coming your way this Sunday, the two men who you just saw in a Broad Street brawl in the middle of Philadelphia. It is a steel cage match featuring the Stallion, Matt Riddle, and the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Something's got to give. These two men will be confined to the steel cage, and there can only be one winner. Last week here on Raw, Carmelo Hayes stole a victory over the almighty Bobby Lashley, but as announced this weekend at the Cruiserweight Classic, they are set for a rematch. The almighty Bobby Lashley wants to teach Carmelo Hayes a lesson in respect. We'll see what happens this Sunday, live in Chicago. There's the WrestleMania rematch, this time for no championship, but only bragging rights. Becky Lynch wants to secure the victory she most needs to move forward with her career. She meets the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, one-on-one. -on -one. A lot of bad blood between the street champ Solo Sokoa and the Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa. It is falls, count, anywhere. These two men have been at each other's throats for months, and it all comes to a head this Sunday, anywhere in the Windy City. There's a triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship as the Defiant LA Knight puts the title on the line against Cedric Alexander and the Great Liberator, Sami Zayn, in a triple threat matchup. The WWE World Tag Team titles are on the line. The man you will see in tonight's main event, Damian Priest alongside the Prince Finn Balor. The Judgment Day defend the gold against the Brawling Brutes, the Bruiserweight Butch, and Ridge, the Fridge, Holland. And in the main event, this Sunday night in Chicago, the Celtic Warrior Sheamus held bent on Retribution after Seth Rollins put him on the shelf all summer long. But not only is Retribution at stake, but so is the WWE title. It's Rollins, Sheamus, this Sunday in Chicago at Unforgiven. But as for tonight in Philadelphia, 
we are set for a massive tag team matchup that will certainly have momentum implications regarding this Sunday night in Chicago. The following is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa. We want to take you back to last week here on Raw. Tommaso Ciampa with a victory over The Miz, but unfortunately no time to celebrate as the street champ Solo Sokoa. It's become his M.O. ambushing Tommaso Ciampa, and this time sent him crashing through a table, dead center of the ring. Just one of many reasons why Solo and Ciampa will meet in a Falls Count Anywhere match live this Sunday in Chicago at Unforgiven. And his partner from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. Well, second chances don't come along too often in this industry, but Cedric Alexander has a second chance at championship glory this Sunday in that triple threat matchup for the Intercontinental title. He worked hard all spring and summer long to claim the number one contendership for SummerSlam, unfortunately fell to the hands of the defiant LA Knight. But Cedric Alexander never backs down, never quits, earned a victory over Sami Zayn after Sami Zayn had defeated him several weeks ago. And all roads lead to a triple threat match this Sunday for the Intercontinental title. Will Cedric be able to capitalize is a whole separate story. But business has picked up here in Philadelphia. And from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sokoa. It all started when Tommaso Ciampa defeated Solo Sokoa back in July in a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. That man, the street champ, has not forgotten. When they met in a rematch on the Raw after SummerSlam, Solo Sokoa inflicted as much punishment as he could and ultimately defeated Tommaso Ciampa. And that was stemming after multiple sneak attacks. You saw the table last week, a kendo stick shot multiple weeks ago, and then of course Solo sending Tommaso Ciampa off a ledge through a spotlight surrounded by glass and electricity, almost ending the career of the Blackheart. No disqualifications. Anything goes, something's got to give in the rubber match this Sunday between Solo Sokoa and Tommaso Ciampa when it's falls count absolutely anywhere. And from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, L.A. Well, the Intercontinental Champion L.A. Knight won that gold back in July at Money in the Bank, dethroning the invincible Ilya Dragunov. And since then, he has retained it in a rematch against Ilya Dragunov. And then, as we mentioned, putting down Cedric Alexander last month in Levi Stadium at SummerSlam. But Cedric Alexander, we talked about it before, we'll say it again, has another chance at glory. But so does the great liberator, Sami Zayn, who earned a victory over Cedric Alexander the Monday before SummerSlam. LA Knight's got a huge risk this Sunday. A one in three chance of leaving Chicago, still with the Intercontinental Championship around his waist. All remains to be seen, but tonight a preview of Unforgiven as we kick off this massive tag team matchup between Tommaso Ciampa and Solo Sokoa. And Tommaso Ciampa hot out of the gate, waiting to get his hands on the man who put him through a table seven nights ago. So much bad blood between these two egos, hell bent on destroying each other. Solo Sokoa, former NXT North American champion, Tommaso Ciampa holding multiple golds, gold, excuse me, in the black and gold brand as well. Also a former Intercontinental Champion and held the Tag Team Gold earlier this year. But right now, this tag team of Solo Sokoa and LA Knight working like a well-oiled machine as the Intercontinental Champion becomes your legal man. LA Knight has been on a roll for months here on Monday Night Raw. It's been a long time since we've seen the defiant LA Knight on the losing end of a matchup. He has climbed the ladder of success, really becoming one of the faces of the red brand as the Intercontinental Champion. But is the expiration date on his Intercontinental title reign this Sunday, September the 17th. Will Cedric Alexander or Sami Zayn be leaving Unforgiven with the gold LA Knight holds so proudly? 
No remains to be seen, but there's a tag made to Cedric. Mutual respect between Champa and Cedric right now. And working like a tag team that's been together for years at the moment. Champa sending Cedric Alexander off the top with that crossbody. And now Alexander trying to build some momentum towards Unforgiven. There's multiple times in that matchup at SummerSlam where it looked like Alexander had the Intercontinental Champion beat. But in the end, LA Knight just outsmarting Cedric Alexander, hit that BFT out of nowhere, and ultimately left Levi Stadium still holding the gold. I'm sure that has replayed in the mind of Cedric Alexander every single day since, but he's got to make the most of the opportunity. This Sunday may be it for Alexander. Only opportunities that come around so often here in the WWE, you got to make the most of them. Alexander's got a rare second chance, but can he leave Chicago with the title on Sunday night? Remains to be seen, but look at Cedric go! LA Knight down, but is LA Knight out as Alexander goes into the cover off the elbow of the Intercontinental Champion gets the shoulder off the canvas. It's a very interesting tag team matchup here tonight. Momentum is on the line as we are on the road to Unforgiven, the Raw exclusive live event on Sunday night. LA Knight. Squash in the corner, and wait a minute, the street champ Sol Sokoa with a cheap shot on Cedric Alexander. Oh, wait a minute, things starting to break down. Alexander getting him some of Sol Sokoa. Meanwhile, LA Knight just knocked Tommaso Chip off the apron behind the referee's back. But as it come back to haunt him as Alexander back inside the ring, drops the knee to the rib cage, and into the cover goes Cedric. Only a one. LA Knight getting to his feet, and I'm sure Sami Zayn is somewhere in the arena with his eyes locked on the Intercontinental Champion and the second challenger doing one final scout of these two men. Meanwhile, Cedric tags in Champa, LA Knight tags in Solo, and here we go. These two men are like two bulls being let out of their cages, and you can't keep them apart. Champa and Solo. Better keep your eyes on them Sunday. We better have cameras all over the Allstate Arena. We better have cameras outside of the Allstate Arena ready to go anywhere in Chicago when it's Falls Count Anywhere because Champa and Solo are going to stop at nothing to rip each other to shreds. Once again, it is the rubber match. Tommaso Champa defeated Solo back in July in that Money in the Bank qualifying match. Solo beat Champa a number of weeks ago on the Raw after SummerSlam. But who is going to get the last laugh? That is what is at stake this Sunday. Well, look at this. Tommaso Ciampa, Project Ciampa on the street champ. Ball game into the cover. Will that do it? Not just yet. Solos, or excuse me, LA Knight breaking up the pinfall. Cedric Alexander getting rid of the Intercontinental Champion. That might have been the best shot. And Tommaso Ciampa, we talked about all the ambushes that Sol Sokoa has inflicted on Ciampa. Most recently as last week, how much does Ciampa have left in the tank? Endurance plays a factor. Adrenaline plays a factor. But is Ciampa 100%? Right now, he's looking half decent inside of that ring, if I say so myself. All oh, remains to be seen what's going to happen on Sunday as things are breaking down at ringside between LA Knight and Cedric Alexander. And Solo Sokoa with a pop-up somehow and drop on Tommaso Ciampa. And he's not done. He knows how tough Ciampa is. And a spinning Solo for good measures. And into the cover. And with a not 100% black heart, that is going to do it. Solo Sokoa and LA Knight picking up the tag team victory here in Philadelphia. And momentum certainly going to be on their side come this Sunday when the Raw locker room makes a trip to the Windy City, but will the results be the same? That is the question that we need answers to, and we will find out at 5 p.m. live this Sunday night at Unforgiven. Very interesting tag team matchup tonight. Here are your winners, Solo Sokoa and LA. The Intercontinental Champion with a W in the win column and Solo Sokoa puts down Tommaso Ciampa again. But once again, will the results be the same? Those are the questions we need answers to. We will find out this Sunday at Unforgiven when it's Solo and Ciampa plus the Intercontinental title will be on the line.
This Saturday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, the quarterfinals of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament begin. One half of Los Lotharios, Angel Garza, battles a former NXT Heritage Cup winner in Nathan Frazier. Also going down this Saturday afternoon, it is the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough, battling Monday Night Raw's invincible Ilya Dragunov. These two men qualified for the quarterfinals just 48 hours ago. This Saturday afternoon, they meet to see who moves on to the semis in the CWC. And then all roads lead to Sunday night in Chicago at Unforgiven, where Carmelo Hayes, one of the superstars of tomorrow, runs it back with the almighty Bobby Lashley. The Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar, the original bro Matt Riddle. These two men got a lot of bad blood, but something's got to give inside the confines of the steel cage. It's the WrestleMania rematch with more than bragging rights on the line. The Empress of Tomorrow looks to go two for two, but Becky Lynch looking to even the score and move on with her career, and they go one on one this Sunday. It is a triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship. The man you just saw in action, L.A. Knight, takes on Cedric Alexander and Sami Zayn, who's leaving Chicago with the gold. Sol Sokoa earning another victory over Tommaso Ciampa. But to or excuse me, this Sunday is where it matters most. Falls count anywhere between the street champ and the black card. One more time this Sunday night. World Tag Team titles up for grabs as the Judgment Day. Damian Priest and Finn Balor defend the gold against the brawling brutes, Butch and Rich Holland. And in the main event, at Unforgiven for the WWE Championship, the champion, the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins defends the gold against the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. That match is gonna be a certified banger. But as for tonight in Philadelphia, I think it runs the same as it's gonna be this Sunday as the calendar checks out. And if I'm reading the fine print, tonight is fight night. Sheamus sent for the main event against the Archer of Infamy. The brawling brutes intact, looking to gain some massive momentum towards their run to Chicago. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. Representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland. Weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! We cannot underestimate how big of a night Sunday will be for this trio known as the Brawling Brutes. A trio that only came together back in the spring, but have certainly made an impact on Monday Night Raw. And the most interesting thing is the history with not only Seth Rollins, but also the Judgment Day. You remember back in May at Vengeance, it was the Judgment Day alongside Seth Rollins and a common enemy in the Brawling Brutes in that massive six-man tag. Who got the victory on that night in Vancouver? It was the Brawling Brutes. Remains to be seen what's going to happen this Sunday, but momentum is at an all-time high for the winner of this matchup. High stakes, high reward, but the mood just changed as the World Tag Team Champions have entered the room. And his opponent, accompanied by Finn Balor, representing the Judgment Day from New York, New York. Weighing in at 249 pounds, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest. The World Tag Team Champions, The Judgment Day, The Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest, The Prince, Finn Balor. Two men who won the gold back in June at King of the Ring. And another interesting note to make is that back in May, there was a number one contenders matchup. It took place right here on Raw. The two teams that competed were the Judgment Day and the Brawling Brutes. And as you can see, the result is still around the waist of Damian Priest and Finn Balor. There's a lot of history between all of these men over the last few months on Raw. And one common goal of being champion has brought these six men back together. And they will all headline Unforgiven this Sunday 
but who is going to leave with the World Tag Team titles and who will leave with the WWE Championship? Seth Rollins not in the building tonight, already in Chicago, preparing for his main event match against Sheamus, but the Celtic Warrior ready for a fight here in Philadelphia, one-on-one -on -one with Damian Priest in your main event. Certainly feels like a big fight feel, something that both of these men are no strangers to. Who is going to get the victory on the road to the Windy City this Sunday? That is what we are awaiting here tonight in the Wells Fargo Center. I want to thank you for joining us once more on the final Monday Night Raw before Unforgiven on Sunday night. It's Damian Priest trying to build some momentum in the early going against Sheamus, but the Celtic Warrior not going to allow it. And now Sheamus down goes Priest again. I got a feeling this is going to be a test of endurance tonight. These are two tough warriors inside of that squared circle. And Sheamus showcasing right there. Up and down goes Damian Priest. You know, next Monday night, we're going to be making our way to Green Bay, Wisconsin. Who is going to be representing Monday Night Raw is the question. Could Sheamus be the new WWE Champion? Could the Brawling Brutes and Butch and Ridge Holland be the new World Tag Team Champions? We will find out during our trip to Chicago on Sunday. Meanwhile, Sheamus hanging up Priest in the top row. And no rest for the wicked in this matchup. Talked about it earlier in the carrying cross madcap collision, but no feeling out process tonight. They are throwing straight live rounds since the opening bell. And once more, ladies and gentlemen, don't miss the Cruiserweight Classic quarterfinals kicking off this Saturday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern time. But stick around, just two hours later, it's the Friday Night SmackDown live premiere event. No mercy in Baltimore, Maryland. 5 p.m. Eastern time for that SmackDown exclusive event. And then 24 hours later, as we've been discussing all night long, we're heading to Chicago, 5 p.m. on Sunday night for the Raw exclusive Unforgiven live premiere event. Not wait to get to this weekend. This is going to be an epic one, absolutely. Sheamus got to keep his eye on Finn Balor. Wait a minute, Sheamus get rid of Finn, but it might have cost him there. Sheamus turned his eye on the Prince, and that's exactly what the Judgment Day wanted. Damian Priest with that tope suicida like a bullet in the back of Sheamus. And the Celtic Warrior on the receiving end of a maneuver he did not want to feel heading into his WWE Championship main event. There's the interesting part about this matchup too. There's obviously a friendship between Priest, Balor, and Rollins that has developed over the last few months. They were alongside each other in a war against the Brawling Brutes back in May. Gotta wonder if Damian Priest is trying to soften up Sheamus for Rollins, south of heaven. And that may do it early. Priest into the cover, take it home. But not just yet as Sheamus gets the shoulder up. Damian Priest going to the well with one of his best maneuvers, but the Celtic Warrior as tough as they come, he's got a lot left more in the tank. Oh, wait a minute. Well, once again, the Prince Finn Balor trying to play as the X Factor in this matchup. It may have worked out, but Damian Priest not able to capitalize, and there's Sheamus off the reversal, sending Priest to the outside, and the Celtic Warrior gets a moment of breather. And much needed for sure. Priest up on the apron. I don't know what Sheamus has in mind. Ragdoll in the Archer of Infamy. Priest taking a fall he didn't want to take. And Sheamus coming off the apron, but miscalculates it. Damian Priest going to reap the rewards. That is the dangers of going high risk and certainly high reward if you can get the delivery. But Sheamus a little uncharacteristic for him to take things to the sky. It did not land flush. And then unfortunately has handed the momentum on a silver platter back to one half of the World Tag Team Champions. Sheamus down, but is Sheamus out as Damian Priest continues to inflict some punishment on the Celtic Warrior. Remember all the history between Seth Rollins and Sheamus. Had a couple of matches this year already. And unfortunately for Seth Rollins, it was a loss. Back in a qualifying matchup to move on to Backlash back in April. That really started this whole thing against the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. But you reap what you sow. And Rollins put the straw that broke the camera's, camel's back proverbially. And he is... Own actions are the reason Sheamus has come back around seeking retribution and now seeking the WWE Championship. 
Remember they met in a rematch. It was the first round of King of the Ring back in May. Seth Rollins got the victory, but added some insult to injury and curb stomped Sheamus at ringside, which sidelined the Celtic Warrior all summer long. Once again, it's Finn Balor taking Sheamus' eye off the ball. Damian Priest gonna take advantage. Of course, as we discussed earlier, that Sol Sokoa ambush on Tommaso Ciampa set him off a ledge through a spotlight. Took Ciampa out of a main event two weeks before SummerSlam. Shinsuke Nakamura was in need of a tag team partner. The Celtic Warrior answered the call. Sheamus returned and knocked off Solo and Seth Rollins on that night. And ever since then, Sheamus, the Great White, has been in a pursuit of vengeance over Seth Rollins. And after that white noise, almost got the victory over Priest, but to no avail. You know, as Finn Balor was on the apron trying to remove the turnbuckle, it looked like, but caught in the act. Nonetheless, Priest getting ragdolled back in the back inside the ring, excuse me, and not the way he would have liked. Sheamus' wheels are turning, man. The Celtic Warriors been in a roll since his Monday Night Raw return. Victories over Apollo Crews one on one. Victories over Sol Sokoa one on one. Could he be going for a victory over Damian Priest? Off that maneuver from the top. Will that do it? Only a one count. And that is certainly a display of resilience and toughness out of the Archer of Infamy. But this is a display of cowardice and underhanded tactics out of the Prince Finn Balor. Oh, but Sheamus not going to allow it. Backbreaker and a bro kick to Damian Priest right in Judgment Day territory. Oh man, but Sheamus, a rare rookie mistake out of the veteran. Not only in Judgment Day territory, but about a half an inch away from the bottom rope and Damian Priest reached out and grabbed for his life. Damian Priest better be thanking his lucky stars. The Finn Balor taking Sheamus' eye off the ball, at least for a moment. But have caught Sheamus lurking, even though he was able to hit that bro kick. Now Priest trying to turn the tides. Butch and Ridge Holland at ringside with their eyes locked on one of their competitors for this Sunday night in the World Tag Team title matchup. Priest into the ropes. Sheamus going for another bro. Damian Priest says otherwise here. The Archer of Infamy trying to change the tides of the match. And Sheamus again face first off the canvas. And that might do it. Priest gonna steal a victory off that distraction by Balor a few moments ago, but Sheamus fights on. Once more, the WWE Champion Seth Rollins not here in Philadelphia tonight. He has already made his way to the Windy City, preparing for his matchup against Sheamus this Sunday. But I'm sure wherever Seth Rollins is watching from, whether it's from a hotel room, a local gym, whatever it may be, he's got his eyes watched on Sheamus. Hoping Damian Priest is going to do one good for him tonight and soften up the number one contender. A second south of heaven into the cover. No! Sheamus gets the shoulder up. And dare I say, but we got a banger on our hands here on Broad Street. And Priest again into the cover. Looking for the victory. And he almost had it again, but Sheamus kicks out. And Damian Priest and Sheamus are kicking off what is going to be one hell of a week here. Friday Night Smackdown on Friday. Cruiserweight Classic and No Mercy on Saturday. Unforgiven on Sunday night. And then we're right back here for Monday Night Raw, live from Green Bay, Wisconsin, seven nights from this evening. Once again, we ask the question, who is going to be the champions waltzing in to Raw? Next Monday night remains to be seen. Sheamus off the pro kick. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Referee turning a blind eye thanks to the actions of the Prince Finn Balor. Oh, this match will be over with. Damian Priest has been down for a damn near 10 count at this point. Oh, Sheamus getting screwed once again. Finn Balor has been the X Factor in this matchup. I'll tell you what, Sheamus is going to have to have it out with Finn Balor in the near future after these actions throughout tonight's main event. And Sheamus has just got to keep his eyes focused, stay focused on Damian Priest. Do not let the Archer of Infamy and the Judgment Day as a whole derail the momentum of the Brawling Brutes heading into the title matches this Sunday. Priest again, can be going south of heaven, not just yet. Sheamus cannot afford a third South of Heaven trip. Off the knee, but Damian Priest may be rocked, but is he out? 
And how much left does Sheamus have in the tank? This has been a very physical matchup between both of these competitors on both sides of the ring. At some point, endurance is going to start to play a factor. Fatigue is going to creep in. Who's got more left in the tank? Reese getting to his feet. Sheamus awaiting him. Backbreaker. And going for a third. Broke kick. And will the third time be the charm? Into the cover. And that'll do it. Sheamus with the victory tonight in Philadelphia. Well, that was an absolute barn burner of a main event ahead of Unforgiven this Sunday. And the Judgment Day's momentum getting a little bit steered off the tracks as the Brawling Brutes get the last laugh here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Here is your winner, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. An unfortunate loss for the Judgment Day. And wherever Seth Rollins is, I'm sure he isn't happy. But are we looking at the future faces of Monday Night? Butch and Ridge Holland challenge the Judgment Day for the World Tag Team titles. And the man in the middle, the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, looking to dethrone Seth Rollins and become the WWE Champion. All roads lead to this Sunday in Chicago. We will see you live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time this Sunday at Unforgiven. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, don't need no cap. I'm a rock.